So you're probably hearing about all of the hype surrounding Go High Level. And you may even be wondering what is Go High Level? But the real question that you should be asking is how can I use Go High Level to change my life? And I'm literally not exaggerating. In this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how Go High Level changed my life, the four ways that it can change yours, and exactly how to get started with this insane tool and get your first clients. But before I do so, let me share a bit about who I am and what I've been able to accomplish. I grew up with a single mom here in a small town in Southern California, and when it was time to decide about if I would go to college or not, I decided to take the safe route. I basically didn't want to face the music of reality quite yet, so I decided to pursue going to college and get a business degree. I didn't know any better and I was scared to step into being the man that I know I could be. So fast forward to the end of freshman year, I got the highest GPA I had ever gotten in all of my years of schooling. I told my mom and my friends from home about my GPA when I came back home from the summer, but deep down I knew something that they didn't. I was cheating myself. I had pretty much Googled all of my homework answers and copy and pasted them to get that GPA. Sure, the outside world was congratulating me, but I knew deep down that I would have to face the music and that if I wanted to really become something in this life, I was going to have to build my life on a foundation of truth. I just intuitively knew it. There was no way that I could make my way through life like this. So in the back of my mind, I had this awareness that time was running out. My first year of college was over and I was smoking weed and copy pasting my homework. 300 miles from home, I had fooled the world, but I didn't fool the most important person that it mattered to, myself. I went back home for the summer and I told my mom that I would get a job by the end of summer. I had never worked a job in my life, and to be honest, I didn't even believe that I could do it. More importantly, something deep inside me knew that I could never work a traditional job. So one of those summer mornings, I strolled late into a local grocery store and a local Jersey Mike's to grab a job application. I got home and I saw a letter in the mail offering a paid position at a local office for around $17 to $18 per hour, which at the time was amazing. I called the office, I booked in an interview for that Friday and was already confirmed. It was literally that easy. I called my mom later that day and I told her that I got an interview. She was skeptical and she wasn't really sure why it was so easy. So fast forward to that Friday, I ended up finding out that this was a commission-based sales position and that I would literally be selling kitchen knives. Yes, literally kitchen knives like these. Thankfully, the product was amazing and I was sold. I didn't care, I had no limits. So that day, I officially became a sales rep and immediately started getting appointments. I started with my family, neighbors, and friends' parents, and referrals, and even some of my mom's real estate friends. Anyone that I knew, I was trying to get on the phone to book an appointment with them. And within the first week, I had sold $10,000 worth of kitchen knives. And by the end of summer, I had sold $30,000 worth of knives. But I had two new problems. One, it was time to head back to college and I didn't know anyone or how to get appointments from this new location. This is what taught me how to be location independent. I had unlocked a new reality of making money on my own terms without anything that I had ever learned or studied in school. I never used a script, I just did it. So now I felt like I was going backwards. 
When I went back to school, all I could think about was Cutco and selling these knives. So I started booking appointments and making sales from college. Then I had this idea, well, why couldn't I sell online? So I decided to build my own Shopify store called Cutco Q and I started uploading all of the products that I was selling and offering discounts. I went to the Cutco business page, started DMing people that liked the page and telling them that I was doing a promotion. I made my first sales and then the unthinkable happened. I got a call from Cutco Corporate saying that they found out about Cutco Q and that it could no longer be. My only source of income was shut down and more importantly, the vehicle in which I was able to make money was gone. Then I saw this ad. Here in my garage, just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here. It's fun to drive up here in the Hollywood Hills. And it was an ad from Ty Lopez about starting your own social media marketing agency where you could charge businesses $1,000 or more per month and make an income online. After I purchased the course, I went back home for winter break and I reached out to one of the people that I had an appointment with over the summer when selling Cutco back home and I wanted to reconnect with him. He was an entrepreneur, he had his own office, employees, and I was truly fascinated with the concept of owning your own business and I had never seen anything like it. We decided to reconnect at his house and have dinner and he said he needed a social media intern. I couldn't believe it. I literally thought it was a joke. That day, I started working, building websites and implementing strategy that I had learned from the course. And when it was time to head back to school at the end of winter break, I remember having to post three posts that day and having a long five hour drive and doing them at the stops along the way. Long story short, my car broke down and I had to go back home so that my mom could take me back to school and something told me that I wasn't gonna be at school for much longer. So I pushed out the last few months of school and I officially decided to drop out. And here's an image of me with my friends the day that I decided to drop out. So I officially had my first few social media marketing clients and I started to convince my cousin to quit his job too and I told him what we were up to and all the ways that I think that he could help. After seven months of him filming one time per week, we decided to go all in on our agency. So to date, we've edited hundreds of videos, thousands of pieces of content, I've personally managed over a million dollars in advertising spent. We've built systems for top real estate brands here in Southern California. We've traveled the world, had videos hit thousands of views, and you're probably wondering, what does this all have to do with Go High Level? So after posting hundreds of videos and building advanced marketing systems, the most important thing was that we didn't own anything. We had acquired the skill set of building systems, running ads, and creating awesome marketing systems, but guess what? If a client left, they kept all of our work and it didn't matter so much that they got to keep it, but more that we didn't have a vehicle to keep making an income with that specific client. So now enters go high level. I got my first free trial and I started converting all of our existing clients over to go high level immediately. So instead of ClickFunnels, Calendly, Zapier and the client CRM, we were able to put everything into a box and create ownership. And during 2021, I built over five proven marketing systems, which you guys know on the channel, the buyer seller snapshot, the seller snapshot, the mortgage snapshot, the investor snapshot, and our VSL snapshot. And the best part is we owned them. And I'll never forget the day that I called my investor client and asked how he did with our system and said that he had made $600,000 profit that year. So now that you know this video is built on a foundation of truth, what are the four ways that you can use Go High Level to change your life? So the first way that Go High Level can change your life is called SaaS, Software as a Service. Think digital real estate. So when a real estate investor purchases a real estate investment property, the more doors that the investor is able to acquire with leverage, debt, the better, assuming the rest of the investment checks out. So let's say an investor buys one house for $500,000 and profits $300 per month in cash flow. 
he is now cash flowing and getting the benefits of appreciation and the renter paying off his debt. So let's scale it out. Let's say an investor buys one building with 100 units and we take the same basic framework. He now cash flows $300 per month times the 100 units. He's making massive cash flow and his debt is getting paid off and he gets all of the benefits of real estate and tax write-offs. So while go high level is not fully the same as real estate, let's use the same example to explain the potential that you have with go high level. Let's say an investor could acquire a skyscraper with unlimited doors and unlimited renters. So instead of one door being rented out or a hundred being rented out, he now owns a building with unlimited doors and profits X per door. Once he pays for the land, some utilities and other third party costs, there's zero additional cost to adding a new renter. This is what go high level is. For literally a few hundred dollars, you can own your own digital land and rent it out to hundreds, thousands, and literally even millions of people for whatever price you choose. You can control the features, the amenities, and what access they get. And you can do this all from home, online, with a laptop and Wi-Fi connection. And you don't need to borrow money or take out any debt. When I started to understand what this business model had in store for me, there was literally no turning back. Look at the world's richest people and what do they all have at the core of their businesses? They own software. Elon Musk, Tesla, runs on software. Larry Ellison, Oracle, software. Bill Gates, Microsoft, software. Google, Facebook, Instagram, ChatGPT, the list goes on and on and you can get your own slice of the gold rush for literally a few hundred dollars? Sure, it's not easy. I don't ever wanna make claims on this channel that make things seem to be easy and require zero work but it's 100% possible to change your life using Go High Level. So let's break down the math. Let's say you charge 97, 297, and 497 per month for your software as Go High Level recommends, and you add some unique value propositions for your niche like I've done. And let's be super conservative. Let's say that you get 10 users within 90 days. Five sign up at 97, three sign up at 297, and two sign up at 497. That's $2,400 per month or almost $30,000 per year. And guess what? It doesn't take any more additional expenses to service those customers once you have the basic systems in place. And if a client or user needs a bigger, more intensive service, you can charge $1,000 or more for those services. And if they ever need to stop those services, they can simply downgrade to the $497, $297, or $97 per month while they recoup their costs. So SaaS is the foundation, which leads us perfectly into number two, which is high ticket services. So there's only a few possibilities that can happen. Number one is you target people who need high ticket services and they buy them. And you use Go High Level to manage them. Then when they want to pause, you can downgrade them to your SaaS only plans and you still make reoccurring income and they can always resume your services at any point in time. Number two, if they don't buy them, they can purchase the SaaS for 97, 297, or 497. Or you target software users and then you eventually upsell them into a high ticket service when they realize they can't or don't want to do it on their own. This could be things like Facebook ads, Google ads, reactivation sequences, building automations, building websites, funnels, and snapshots. All of these services can easily be sold for $500 to $1,000 or more per month. So I had this happen to me recently. One of the clients that I was able to acquire with Facebook ads signed up for our high ticket services. We help real estate investors find off-market deals. A month in, the client decided that he wanted to pause the ads. Before go high level, this would have been a lost client. 
with Go High Level, this is now a client that signed up for a high ticket service and is now a SaaS client until he resumes his high ticket service. I still keep the reoccurring revenue, I keep the relationship with the client, and he can resume at any point in time. So that's the second way that you can use Go High Level. If people aren't ready for high ticket services, you can create a do-it-yourself solution with simple tools like Upex and basically allow clients to run their own services at a way lower investment per month. The third way that you can use Go High Level to change your life is the affiliate program. So once you get great at go high level offering services and actually practicing what you preach, you can create educational content like I've done and introduce people to the software and teach them what you know. And Go High Level has an amazing incentive program for affiliates. You literally make 40% reoccurring per month on any plan. So the math is 40% of 97, 40% of 297, or 40% of 497. So let's take the same example from earlier where you sell the SaaS to clients and you use it for the affiliate program. So let's say over 90 days, you're able to refer 10 people to go high level. Five sign up for the $97 plan, three sign up for the $297, and two sign up for the $497 plan. You would make an extra $960 per month just by sharing the software with others. And the best part is, when you actually get good at Go High Level, you can easily add value to others that are using Go High Level. The reason that I've been able to grow my affiliate program is because I'm actually good at Go High Level and I spent the last three years learning Go High Level and using it to run an actual business. So when you get really good at doing the main thing, then it will become effortless to have people that want to learn from you. So the fourth way that you can use Go High Level to change your life is to sell snapshots. So once you get really good at building systems and automations and the snapshots are actually valuable to a niche, you can sell these snapshots snapshots for as little as a dollar to thousands of dollars. The cool thing about selling snapshots is that you build them once and you sell them twice. Think about it, it's like literally creating a business in a box for somebody. If a company needed operations, automations, triggers, and workflows, they would hire a software developer that potentially makes six figures a year just building automations and tech for their business. So if you can understand what that niche needs needs, box it up, and turn it into a sellable link, you can really make a lot of money. So I hope this video was valuable to you and I hope that you use this video to reference how you can use Go High Level to change your life. If you liked the video, share it with a friend. And if you would like to partner with me, feel free to join our school group down below and you can message me about partnering with me and becoming an affiliate of mine. You get access to all of my snapshots, SOPs, and systems that I've built over the past six years running two six-figure agencies. So I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next videos. And if you have any questions below, feel free to comment them and I'll see you in the next video.